because of some of the things I've seen that mm -hmm. took place in the last election a couple of years ago mm -hmm. with our current administration, uh, Ludi Wallace being the president, current president now. And uh, I kind of backed off, you know, but I still believe that the NAAC can be power empowered mm -hmm. if you got the right people in there that's not afraid to step up and stand out mm -hmm. and challenge these different issues. It's mm -hmm. so much happening in our community, in our society, you know, people are, are, are being pushed out of their neighborhood and their community, pushed way out to the outskirts of town, somewhere like the old folks you say, somewhere out in Plum Nelly somewhere, uh -huh. you know, mm -hmm. and, and there's nobody saying anything, you know, and, and it's like the community, our, our community, the black community is like, man, we don't have a voice. Who, who's going to speak for Who's going to represent us? So my thing is, let's empower the NAACP. And I think that Dr. Uh, Chenault here is, would make the perfect uh, president mm -hmm. of the NAACP's Nashville branch because of, of the tenacity that I've seen in her, you know, since she's come on board and become a part of the Nashville branch of NAACP. I knew her from years ago. I uh, actually went to school with her brother, her younger brother and stuff, and we were really good friends throughout the years and stuff like that. And uh, I didn't know at the time that she was as tenacious as she is, but mm -hmm. from being in, in some of the meetings at the executive committee meetings and stuff and, and, and seeing her, you know, push the issues and the things like that, you know, I, I said, well, you know, when I found out she was running for president, I said, yeah, I'm on board. You know, mm -hmm. I really want to see that happen. And of course, uh, I'm seeking a position as third vice president of mm -hmm. the NAACP because, I, you know, like I say, somebody got to say something. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to do something. And apparently what we have there, we got some good people there, but it's everything rises and falls on leadership. Mm -hmm. and if leadership is weak, if leadership is ineffective, if leadership is disregarding the fact that it is leadership, mm -hmm. then leadership needs to be changed. And I think it's time for a change in leadership of the NAACP so that the NAACP can be empowered and be the NAACP mm -hmm. that it's supposed to be and stop playing these games. Very good. And Dr. Chenault, we've got about a minute and a half before the end of this segment. And so you think that uh, you have uh, what is necessary in order to bring this organization together. Say something about that. About something. Yes, sir. I believe that I have what is necessary to be a leader, a strong leader in the, in the Nashville branch in AACP. I have worked tirelessly for the last five years. I have assumed a number of positions in the NAACP. I have exerted uh, energy in trying to get issues out front so that the community as well as the establishment can understand that regardless of what the matter is, it's not about race, it's about right. And there are a number of issues that have confronted the community in the Nashville area that have not been, as a uh, pastor had said, has not really been vented mm -hmm. and discussed in our community. So very much so, I believe that I am a strong leader and I can lead the NAACP into a successful year. Very good. What we'll do now, Dr. Chenault, is to take this second uh, final commercial break and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. When it comes out, you, you, nobody will ever be able to tell that you're rattled. You don't look rattled to me. I can't, I can't help it. Uh, can't no, just, this, this might be your first experience. It is. So, and it, it and is. you have to admit that this is an unusual mm -hmm. kind of experience it and is. whatnot, but we, we, we're making it through, and so we've got 10 minutes. So uh, what, what, are, what are we going to do? So what time? do you want to talk about uh, um, in the last 10 minutes? See, when, when we come back, we'll have 10 minutes. And so what you want to talk about what voting that's that's talk about the suffrage or you want to and, and, and what you're planning on doing in reference to the suffrage and except whatever you wish to yeah. talk about. And, and, yeah. and you started off and pastor will help, you know, give you some information in reference to what he has yeah, to say. And then, yeah, a little all come together. Okay. And how you can take this you know, mm -hmm. yeah, organization okay. to the next level. Okay. okay. Yeah, just. Thank you. Welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Dr. Uh, Tallulah Chenault.
uh, from uh, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People and Pastor Kay Walker, who's also a member of the uh, National Association, and his granddaughter who's with us. And this, I think, is her first television experience. And uh, she'll learn. And I think that uh, what we're trying to do today is to not only empower the community, Dr. Chanel, but to talk about some of the ways that is the suffrage, how that might be, uh, we might be able to do that. So let's use the last few minutes to talk about voting and the suffrage. Okay. Uh, voting, as we know, is extremely important in our community. Our visibility, our empowerment, all depends on whether or not we register, get our documents in order, and vote. Voting in Nashville, Tennessee, regardless of whether it is the school board, whether it's Congress, our senators, and our representatives, is extremely important. A number of policies have been passed in our council meetings, in our Senate, that are not beneficial per se to the African-American or black